Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Breaking news. Obaseki loses critical court case at appeal court. Hello, wonderful people. How are you doing today? Yesterday, we brought you up to speed with the fact that Governor Gordon Obaseki, the executive governor of um, Edo State, the case before him at the lower court was suspended indefinitely. Now, that case has a lifespan of between now, if the case is not concluded by January 2021, it will, however, be thrown out of the courts. It has a, court, it has a lifespan that expires in January 2021. Now, this case has been ongoing at the lower courts. But Obaseki has already applied to the appeal court. And so when they got to the appeal court yesterday, the appeal court said if the lower court is still looking at the matter, for now, it will be regarded as suspended indefinitely. But overnight, since that, you know, we brought you that congratulatory messages celebrating the governor, governor Gordon Obaseki's victory. Some people have gone to press some buttons and have reenacted the case as we speak. The court has gone back to say Obaseki should go back to the lower court to have that judgment. Now, the, like I said, this whole court case has a lifespan that ends in January. Okay, so let's continue so you can understand what is going on. Forces overnight has gone ahead and has pressed some buttons. Let's get all the details. Breaking news, Obaseki loses critical case at appeal courts. Governor Gordon Obaseki has lost his legal bid to, stay, to start proceeding at the Federal High Court in a case of certificate forgery. The Court of Appeal in Abuja on Wednesday dismissed Obaseki's application. It ordered him to return, like we are saying, buttons have been pressed overnight. It ordered him to return to the lower court for the hearing of the suit which was adjourned indefinitely yesterday, Tuesday, at the lower court. The APC, William Edobo, are praying for an order disqualifying of Governor Baseki from contesting the Edo election, on which grounds they claim he had given false certificates to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, which is against electoral law. The plenants, apart from Obaseki, joined the People's Democratic Party and the Independent Electoral Election Commission. The plenants also claim that there are discrepancies in the subject Obaseki claimed he passed at the WAEC conducted by the West African Examination Council. Obaseki initially challenged the competence of APC counter reply of his defense. He asked the court to remove some paragraph in the plenary statement, but a ruling delivery on December the 2nd, the presiding judge, Justice Hamed Mohammed, dismissed the governor's motion. Obaseki appealed the judgment, causing the judge to suspend the case at the lower court indefinitely, which happened yesterday. But in a short twist of time, with less than 24 hours, just in Abuja, Justice Hamed adjourned the case on the grounds of appeal filed by Governor Gordon Obaseki at the appeal court. Justice Mohammed opts that the since that there was an initial case appeal pending at the appeal court, the trial court had to tarry await since it has been nullified and notified of the pending of the appeal court. He said. More so, since the record of the appeal had already been transmitted and submitted on all other parties, he added that the trial court had to await the decision of the application court in order not to embark on a collusion course. Where a lower suit is aware of the existence of the application of his first stay, it will be wrong for the trial court to proceed to hearing the application is seeking to start 
proceeding. In the instant case, in addition to the interjection appeal, there is an application to start proceeding. The suit is thereby adjourned indefinitely, says the judge. Overnight, someone has gone to reenact the matter. So my people, this is exactly what is going on overnight. Before you could say Jack Robinson, something else has happened. Yesterday, we brought you up to date and um, there was wide celebration in Obaseki's camp that he was doing quite well and people were, those who were supporters were quite happy with the development that victory at last, Obaseki is free from court case. Whatever the case may be, this whole court case, by January 2021, if a final decision has not been reached, will be thrown out of the court because this, court, this case has a lifespan of six months. So from September, October, uh, is it six months or four months? September, October, November, December, January, six months, I beg your pardon. By January 19, precisely, if this case is not decided, is regarded non and void and should never be brought up again. So that's why whoever has gone to press the button has really gone to press the button because as we speak, APC, Pastor Sage Ize Iyamu, are hell bent and saying that Obaseki must be removed as the governor of Edo State, claiming that he produced a fraudulent result before INEC and his Wayek result does not agree with what he claimed he did. So there's a lot of discrepancies currently going on now and a lot of controversy. And I don't know how Obaseki will be feeling today because just yesterday there was wide celebration. Today is as though nothing has happened and it's back to square one. So, I mean, it is what it is, you know, but Apple Line Media will keep keeping you up to date. And uh, we are only just appealing that, you know, um, Governor Gordon Obaseki, who has so many initi initiative and ideas to move Edo State forward, is allowed to work for the people so that Edo State can really truly see tangible and real development and growth. If they continue to wallow in cases back left, right and center, it will be difficult for the governor to actually settle down. It's only a settled mind. Now they, now they add weight now. If your mind not they settled, no matter what you chop, you, you go to you go to sleep, you go to ask you not to chop. You get what I mean? It's a mind that is at rest, that is at peace, that can actually bring about new innovative ideas, initi initiatives that will actually move the state forward. Like we always say, the ball is in your court at the end of the day. Leave us a comment. We'd like to hear your thoughts on all that is going on. Please don't forget to like us. Please share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now.